Hello, in this video, I will show you how you can construct your hotel competitive set and how to measure the property performance in relation to its competitors. First, in order to have a competitive set, we have to look for five criteria. The first criteria we're having is location. If hotels are near each other, they are likely to serve similar market segments and experience similar occupancy cycles. The second criteria we can look for, it's brand. In fact, major hotel companies have several brands, each designed to a specific type of traveler. So if we are comparing ourselves to a brand that is serving the same traveler, so it's part of my competitive set. The third criteria we're having, it's product type. And it means facilities available at the hotel. And the product type could be classified as full service, limited service, and extended stay hotels. The fourth criteria we're having, it's quality. And it refers to the conditions of the hotel's facilities and guest rooms. Because we might have the same product type, however, one hotel that it's new and the other hotel that it's old and not renovated. So here we're having the same brand, we're having the same product type. However, the quality of service delivered is different. The fifth criteria we're having, it's the average daily rate. In fact, price plays a major role. So if hotels are selling similar rates, they are having a tendency to have similar quality and facility attributes and targeting the same clientele. Now, if we move here, we already have some numbers regarding our hotel. So our hotel here, it's having occupancy for the month of June of 65%, an ADR of 160, and the rev bar of 104. Also, we collected okay, uh, information about several hotels that they are part of, of our competitive set. We're having, for example, Hotel 2, it's 60% occupancy, $120 ADR, and rev bar 72. In order to compare ourselves and the performance of our hotel, we're having three main KPIs. The first one, it's called Market Penetration Index. It's also known as the Occupancy Index, and it compares our occupancy to the average occupancy of the market. The second KPI we're having, it's the Average Rate Index, also known as ADR Index. Also, it compares our ADR to the average ADR of the market. The third KPI we're having, it's the Revenue Generation Index, also called RevPAR Index, and it compares our ref bar to the average ref bar of this market. So in order to start, we have to calculate the average. In the average, we click on average, and we do the average including our hotel. Some, they don't include the hotel. However, I say to include the hotel because the hotel is part of this market. And like this, we can drag, it means what we're having here, it's uh, the occupancy, and here we have to change the format because it's not a percentage. It's currency. Okay, it means the average occupancy in this market, it's 68%. The average ADR in this market, it's 144.2, and the average ref bar, it's 98.4. So in order now to calculate the index for our hotel, we divide the occupancy, our occupancy, divided by the average occupancy of the market, and we multiply it by 100. Because I want to drag this cell, I will freeze the average here by adding the dollar sign okay so here 95.12 it means it's less than 100 it means we are performing below the average occupancy of this market now if we go to the average rate index it's our adr our adr here 
divided by the average ADR in this market. Also, we have to add the dollar sign, okay? And we multiply it by 100. Then we're having here for the average rate index, we are performing better than the average of this market because it's greater than 100 and it's 110.98. Now, in order to calculate the revenue generation index, we have to divide our ref bar by the ref bar in the market or the average ref bar in the market and we multiply it by 100. Okay, so here for the revenue generation index, we are doing better than the average of this market. We can drag here the index in order to calculate the index for the different hotels. Also, we can calculate that here we will have 100 at the end. Why? Because it's the average. Okay, and so if we want now to rank our hotel in this competition, we see, okay, that we're having hotel one, it's doing better than us. We're having Hotel 3 doing better than us, and Hotel 5 is doing better than our hotel. So our rank in this competitive set, it's four. It means we are the fourth hotel in terms of occupancy. The same applies for the average rate index. It's 110. We're having Hotel 1 performing better than us, and also the only one, okay? So here we are ranked second in terms of average rate. And for the revenue generation index, we're having hotel one performing better than us. And we're having also hotel five. So our rank, it's three. In future videos, we will see what are the strategies that we have to follow, okay, based on the numbers we're having here. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.